Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday. I had to think about that there and what day it was of the week. Welcome to Tuesday. From anybody jumping on live or jumping on a replay, today I wanted to share with everybody something that I often get asked a lot of the time that I teach other people how to um, put together presentations, workshops, speeches, communication with different people. How do I actually go about doing that for myself? Hey, Brookie. So welcome, everyone. For some people that I, I haven't met before, my name is Melanie Wood, and I'm the founder of Speaking Styles. And it is always the biggest question that I often get asked. And because I have quite a number of speaking gigs coming up and one in particular on Saturday, which is the One Women's Fearless Summit. So it's quite a, a big platform. There's going to be like over 200 women. It's a full pack day with numerous amount of speakers being there. And I wanted to share with you what I do to prepare. How do I get organized around this speech? So it is going to be a 20 minute talk that I will be doing. I do have a couple of slides for a PowerPoint, but I only have like three, I think three slides. That is it, but it's literally just visual for people. And the, the story that I'm going to be creating is that I'm going to be sharing. I'm not going to tell you actually, because I'm not sure if anybody in the group is going. So I'm not going to tell you actually what I'm going to be speaking on in case anybody is in the group that's going and you'll find out on the day. But I wanted to share with people is the things that I teach my clients is exactly what I do myself. So I literally have a work booklet that I take my clients through. Whether you're a workshop or whether you're my client, obviously depending on whether it's a workshop or a one-on-one -on -one session, there'll be more in-depth things that we do. So literally over the last couple of weeks, I've been working through the work booklet that I take people through. Hey, Jeanette. Um, so I take people through this work booklet and I have been sitting doing the same for myself. So I wanted to let people know that what I teach people is what I do myself. So there's loads of people out there that teach a skill. However, a lot of the people don't necessarily work through the same process as what they teach people. <laughs> no problem, Jeanette. I'm on the train with you. Excellent. So the thing is, is what I teach is proven because I'm doing exactly what I do with my clients. So I'm sitting here going through the workbook clip. I'm going through the stages of mindset so that I'm putting myself in the right space to really be able to put together my talk, my 20 minute talk and how I'm going to structure it and how I'm going to then rehearse and practice it. So I literally have went through my work booklet. I've then looked at planning ahead. So who's my audience that's going to be there? Well, it's going to be women and women that potentially want to come and learn from the speakers that are there that day. It's a one women's fearless summit. There is loads of different topics that are going to be there and people are going to take away, I think, so much value from everybody there, but also around the people in the audience of over 200 like-minded women who are there to either support the speakers, but also to be able to learn something new, to be inspired, to be educated, to be empowered. So then I look at the talk that I'm doing and I'm working through the work booklet going, okay, what's the end goal in mind for my audience? What do I want to teach them? So I want to look at educating them but I also want to be able to uh, empower and inspire them to, to make some changes in their life as well. So then I have to look at what some of the value that I'm going to be able to give on that day. So the more that I put myself in the audience's minds of what's something that they could really take away by me being on stage for 20 minutes and then have a look at, well, what's something that I'm going to ask them to do at the end? So this is a platform that there's no selling involved. So basically for me, it's looking at, well, what's one thing that I could get them to take away on the day that they could start implementing into their lives? So that's how I start to break down my talk. 
This is what I teach to my clients and this is what I do for myself. So then I'm looking at, okay, how am I going to structure a bit of an intro around myself? What's a bit of a story that I will share with them? And then what's some value? What's some tips that I could really share with them on the day? So I've literally been handwriting a whole heap of things that some people will see. So I've been handwriting my talk for Saturday. And then what I'm going to do this afternoon is that I'm going to start practicing it, going through it, and then be able to be able to hear it. Because when we write it and then we speak it, it can sound very, very different. So that's what's really beneficial with writing it out, however it is for you. For me, I love to be able to write it out as draft then start to speak it and then I will know whether it sounds good, whether I need to work on it anymore and then I can start to edit it and really start to put it together. Obviously for myself who has been has you know done a number of talks, presentations and workshops, I want to be able to connect with the audience through my heart, which means that yes I have a structure but I don't want to be the point where I'm scripted the entire way through it. So that's why I have a couple of slides that I will be there as a visual for people to recognize what I'm talking about, which will relate to them. But I also want to be in a position that sometimes if something comes to me that I feel the audience needs to hear that I haven't actually written down, that's what's meant to happen. But obviously for people who are starting out, they're beginning, sometimes we have to look at structuring that process and having a step-by-step -step of how you're going to say things to be able to overcome any nerves, overcome any fear. But then as you get really good at it and start practicing it and doing it a lot more, then you can really start to relax that and be able to have things just coming to you on the day, depending on the audience. Because one of the things that we have to remember is that we can feed off the audience. And I, when I'm on, I'm actually on at 10 to two in the afternoon. Everybody will have been there from nine o'clock in the morning. And I think they're there until three, four o'clock, maybe later than that. So it's a long day to sit and listen to speakers, especially if I'm coming on after lunchtime, then I'm going to have to really gauge the audience, where they're at, and how I'm going to be able to lift that energy in the room and really have them engaged to really take away the value that I'm going to offer them. But I just wanted to come on and share exactly the things that I'm doing. So I literally have worked through this workbooklet. I'm going to continue to work through it as well for the rest of the week and start to practice it, get comfortable with it, practice it with my slides, and then just really edit it and go over it. And then on the day, it's really about on the day, I'm going to do the best that I can um, with all of the work that I have done prior. And really it's about the audience and it's not about myself. It's really about being there to educate them, to empower them, to inspire them, to, to take some um, things away with them that they could potentially implement and change into their lives from that one day event. So that's what I wanted to jump on and share with you all today. Um, I know that there's a few, hey Melinda, uh, there's a few people on live. If you do have any questions on any of this, feel free to jump on and ask me anything. I'll stay for a few minutes if anybody does. If you're coming on and watching on replay later and you do have any questions on this live, then again, just put, put them in the comments and I'll keep an eye on notifications later and I'll be able to answer those for you. But for any of you ladies who are watching, um, pop in the comments if you do have any questions, if this has been helpful to you um, or let me know if you have any upcoming talks or presentations that you might have coming up as well. If it's been really good and helpful, just stick a thumbs up or an emoji in the, uh, in the comments as well. Sometimes there can be a bit of a delay coming through. I went to jump on live to do this 
And then somebody, I don't know if anybody's ever had where they think they get themselves all set up to do something, whether it be a recording, a video, a live, and then someone starts um, mowing the lawn, mowing, mowing the grass next door. <laughs> and I thought, oh, well, that's it. I'm going on anyway. It doesn't matter. These things happen quite a lot. Well, if nobody has any questions, if you have a think about it later, then even just pop it in the in the group later on today. Thanks, ladies who have jumped on live today. And thank you to everybody who will be jumping on later on replay. I just wanted to share a little bit more about how I get myself prepared and ready for upcoming talks and presentations. So I will chat to you all very soon, ladies and gentlemen as well who are in the group. See you later.